Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss an important question which often comes to the mind of many students and their parents and that is whether you should study computer science or data science. So before we try to answer this question, let us take a look at these two disciplines and then try to find the commonalities between these two disciplines and the differences and then see what are the career prospects, what are the different type of aptitudes which are useful for each discipline and so on. So as far as you know, computer science has been around for a pretty long time. So I would say even when I was doing my bachelor's degree 30 plus years ago, computer science was a very sought after discipline and it remains so today. So I would say today computer science has more or less become a classical field. It's a field very similar to, let's say, mechanical engineering or civil engineering or electrical engineering in so far as almost all universities which have engineering departments do have a computer science department. And most of the time, the computer science department is within the engineering department, though in some cases it can be part of a math or some different department also. So let's look at computer science, which is, I would say, now a classical field. So essentially computer science studies all aspects of the computer and it focuses more on the software aspects. So that is generally the case. The pure hardware aspects of computer science are sometimes left to the electrical engineers and the electronic engineers. So essentially computer scientists typically study software, algorithms, databases, compilers, programming languages, logic, discrete math, AI, machine learning, cybersecurity, and also some aspects of computer hardware such as computer networks, computer organization, and so on. And in many cases, they also have a small amount of math thrown in into the curriculum. So this may be, like I mentioned, logic. It may involve predicate calculus. It may also involve numerical analysis and computation. So this is often a course which is common to the computer science disciplines and the engineering disciplines. Now, essentially what has happened in computer science is that computers have become highly networked. So nowadays you do not use a computer as a separate machine, except maybe when you are at home, even then it is connected to the internet. So essentially because of this connectivity which is possible nowadays the computers are essentially interconnected systems so computer networking has also become important and a lot of math has entered computer science through queuing theory through information theory and so on so large amounts of math has got into computer science and you will find that any computer science professor will tell you that a good knowledge and aptitude of math is necessary in computer science. But I would say that the classical type of mathematics such as differential equations, partial differential equations and so on are more often used in physics dominated fields such as mechanical engineering, chemical engineering and so on. And computer science looks more at matrix theory and statistics and to some extent calculus but also looks at various aspects of discrete mathematics. So not necessarily continuous math like calculus assumes but discrete mathematics. So with this basic background of computer science in mind, let us look at now what has happened with data science. So data science has come up as a new discipline over the last five to 10 years, but I would say that people have been using data to infer information from data for a very long time. And this has been done by statisticians. It has been done by computer scientists. It has been done by all kinds of scientists and engineers and also social scientists. So essentially all these people are always gathering data. They are trying to figure out patterns in data. They are trying to develop models from data. They have been visualizing data for a very long time. So essentially this is not something new, but what has happened which necessitated the creation of a new discipline was the ubiquitous nature of sensors. So essentially what happened is that sensors became very cheap and sensors started spreading throughout the system. So today you have any type of vehicle, for example, a car, a motorcycle, or even an aircraft. They are all embedded with all kinds of sensors. You have 
washing machines, refrigerators, even buildings with sensors. You have cameras throughout the world. You have cameras in the home, cameras in the shopping mall and so on. So you are essentially being inundated with data. And this huge amount of data is kind of useless if you do not make some inference out of this. And very often this data has a huge amount of information which can be mined for business strategies, which can be mined for further information, which can be mined to predict faults in the system, to predict remaining life of the system and so on. So that's the primary reason why data science has become very popular over the last many years. So essentially, I would say the rise of the internet, which can be considered to be a public database, is one of the main reasons for the data science field to come up, also proliferation of sensors. And this has led to the creation of huge amounts of data, which is also known as big data. So essentially, you will always hear of the situation of large data sets. And large data sets create totally new problems, which are not faced by people who are working of small data sets like 100 people who were sampled or a thousand people who were sampled. Now you're talking of data coming from millions of machines around the world. So there is a very large amount of data here and this data is coming all the time. That is, it's coming in every second. So essentially you have totally new problems now because of this huge amount of data being present. So now what are the key aspects you study in computer science? Well, you're going to study math, you're going to study statistics, probability, linear, algebra, and you are going to study algorithms, predictive modeling, and so on. So essentially a lot of the modeling which is done in data science is related to classical statistical fields such as regression, which is essentially a kind of curve fitting. But many more new techniques have come up such as machine learning and deep learning, which are also being used widely in data science, also decision trees, random forest, and so on. Now, I would say the computer language which is prevalent in data science is typically Python or R, and what is used in computer science most frequently is C, C++, Java, JavaScript, Rust, Go, and so on. So there is a certain demarcation in the kind of computer languages which are used in these two disciplines. So let us now go back and see these two disciplines. So I would say you can clearly see that there are fields or subfields which are common to computer science and data science. And I would say a data scientist is part computer scientist, part mathematician, part statistician, and part social scientist and even a business person to some extent because one of the reasons why data science has become popular is to extract business strategies or business information out of data. So that is something we need to keep in mind. Now, who should study computer science? I would say anybody who is very good in math and also is very good in programming languages and wants to do work which gets into the depth of computer systems and how computers are used in terms of software can study computer science. The advantage of computer science would of course be that it's a very broad discipline and it can let you enter a very large number of companies through the title of a software engineer. Now in data science, essentially you are going to study some of the aspects I mentioned before. Like again, you will study math, you'll study statistics, you'll study probability, and you are going to spend a lot of time studying about data. So you may study data visualization and so on. Now, one of the things in data science is that there is a lot of software which is out there which can help you do your tasks. So Python comes with Pandas, with Scikit-learn, with NumPy, and all these can be used to very much ease the life of a data scientist. So many times people can do a lot of things with these built-in tools and libraries, and they don't need to write so much of programs for internal systems and so on. Whereas computer scientists may spend time writing C programs for different type of systems. They are likely to learn programming through the classical route of C++ and Java, and therefore they very often have a different approach to computing compared to data science type of people. Now, data scientists typically get jobs which are titled as data scientist or data analyst, and so it's different from computer science. And one of the negative aspects of data science is that because the barriers to entry are relatively less, 
many engineers, scientists can get into data science by just doing some kind of certification, for example, the Google certification and a few courses, because very often a person who has trained in the engineering field or even in the social sciences can very easily learn Python, SQL, and some other things, and then do a lot of the work which data scientists do. So this is something to keep in mind that data scientist is something which has lower barriers to entry, whereas it's very hard to pose as a computer scientist unless you are formally trained in computer science, though a lot of people do programming and say they are working in IT. But again, programming is a very small subset of computer science. Computer science is much deeper than that. If you study computer science, you have to study things such as compiler, programming languages, computer networking, computer organization, which are often very hard and intense subjects, so keep that in mind. So I hope this video is useful to students and their parents and anybody contemplating whether to go to data science or computer science. I have not answered this question as usual, but I have given you information which will help you decide what to do. Very often computer science seats are much less, data science seats are much more. So you may be able to do a data science degree, but you may not be able to do a computer science degree in many institutions. And sometimes you can do a data science degree from the arts department. So essentially universities have started giving BA degrees in data science. They have started giving BSc or a three-year degree in data science. So all these have become possible. Whereas in computer science, they have to rigidly strict to the curriculum which have been specified by bodies such as the ABET or the ICTE depending on whichever country you are in. So I will end this video now and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.